the gift of sight. The blue of the sky, the green of the grass, the bright flowers that adorn our world. How fortunate we are that we can see them clearly in all their vivid colors. This grave is where my daughter, Frances Batty Shand, lies. She spent many years helping people who couldn't see. She was named after me, Frances. Her father, John Shand, owned plantations. I was born a slave. Although I was freed, I was still a slave to the traditions of my time. For many years, I kept house for John in Spanish town in Jamaica and bore him seven children. We both wanted the best for them. For me, that would have meant keeping them close allowing them to grow up in my care, but into a different world from the one I was born into. But John decided they were to be educated in his home country of Scotland, far away. Francis was my last child, born in 1850. She was only four years old when I said goodbye to her. I wonder how quickly she forgot the dazzling sun and lush gardens of Jamaica in that land of mountains and mist. But I am glad my children never knew the horrors of slavery. And I am so proud of what they achieved, especially my youngest. You would not have heard of me, but Many people know about my daughter, Frances. Look out for Shand House the next time you walk along Newport Road in Cardiff. <laughs> Tenderly, I nurtured her during those four short years. Surely that helped fashion her into the kind-hearted adult she became. Frances cared deeply about the sufferings of others. She could not ignore the poverty she saw around her. When she first came to Cardiff to live with her brother, she used to tour the town, offering help to the ragged street children. And then she turned her mind to supporting those who had lost their sight. She opened a small workshop in Canton, employing several men to make baskets for the coal ships. Before long, they needed bigger premises. And after several moves, settled in what became Shand House. If it hadn't been for my girl, those men blinded by fever in war, in the coal mines would have ended up in the workhouse. Few will forget the kindly face of Miss Shand, they said at the Institute when she returned north after her brother's death.
John went home to Scotland soon after Francis was born. He left me comfortable enough in Spanish tongue. But before long, every one of my children had been taken from me. And what does comfort count for then? Before each one left, I had their portrait painted. I would not have forgotten them, but it helped to hold those little pictures close to me, to remind me, to imagine them as they grew up. So many miles away. I asked that after my death, each child be given their portrait as a memento from me, their mother. My Francis, my baby, my far-sighted daughter, I hope you know just how proud of you I am.